mistakenly picked the wrong size of Uber. We should have gotten an XL, but oh well. woke up before he actually touched your nose. Let's replay. Let's be mad at it. <laughs> it's like I'm ready if he wakes up. See that? <laughs> the timing is crazy. What, what did the guy uh, next to me do? <laughs> he was laughing the whole oh, time. He mistakenly picked the wrong size of Uber. We should have gotten an XL, but Oh well. Woo. Let's take it, take it, yeah, quick, quick five. Right? I, I'm impressed that you carried it that long. This thing is so heavy. Dude. It's heavy. We're in San Francisco down to the piers and we're going to Pier 27 because our client segment is having a conference and uh, we're going to check it out and we're going to do some video shooting with them at their office which is further away. So for now, we had brunch and we're lugging what seems like uh, Barnum and Bailey's uh, circus uh, things all the way down to Pier 27 and we got to take a lot of breaks on the way. So that's really it. And then we got Luke and, uh, and Moose with us as well. <laughs> so good. Uh, <laughs> and they're like, where's Pier 27? Is it that down there? Yeah. So the challenge is, at the after party, I'm gonna go up to a person and I'm gonna practice the yes ladder, which is a sales technique that we use in the breadcrumb technique of our landing pages. And basically I'm gonna ask the person directly, right off the bat, can I have your lanyard? That's like where their entire is connected. Hopefully they say no. And then the second time, I'm gonna challenge somebody to cornhole. And then right before we're gonna start playing, I'm gonna ask them, can we play for your lanyard? And they're gonna say yes more likely because they're already accepting of like the initial cornhole game. So we'll see if my theory works. Thoughts? I think they're gonna say yes to giving them the lanyard. To begin with? Yeah. Really? Yeah, because I just don't think that these people are gonna care about keeping the lanyard. Okay. What do you think? They might decline giving him the lanyard if he loses the game. If I lose the game? Right, because then I didn't win it. Bom bom bom. Hey, excuse me? Could I have your lanyard? They didn't they didn't have the ones there that I wanted. And you can still keep your sign, but do you need the lanyard? Sorry? Do you want to keep your lanyard? Um, yeah, I mean, I can give it up to the party. What do you, what do you, okay. what do you mean? No, no, that's fine. I just didn't have the lanyard, so that's fine. 
completely Why fine. Did you get it from the they, that came late, so they ran out, and so they didn't have it. So it's all good. Thank you, though. Thank you. So film me, film me. So exactly as predicted, you walk up to somebody cold, asking for something. That's a relatively big ask, like, can I have your lanyard? And they said no. So I'm going to see if my next idea works. Um, so follow me over to the cornhole cornhole game. We're going to go play cornhole. So you did ask somebody? Yeah, yeah, but the idea was to get a no first. And now I'm showing that if I ask them, like, cornhole first, and then as they say yes, I'm like, you want to play for your lanyard? Gotcha. We're just waiting for them to finish, and then we're going to challenge. Oh, okay. So you and I? We're gonna go after a team or challenge a team that has those lanyards, okay. and then we're gonna ask them to play. And then we're gonna, while they, after they say yes, we're gonna basically say, "Let's play for each other's lanyards." I only have one, but it's the segment one. And then hopefully they'll say yes. We only need to win one to prove okay. our point. So let's see what happens. Stones over there for me. Ah. Sounds good. Good talk. Glad we held up. Yeah. I got Moose getting me a drink now. Ooh, nice. Now, if we get them to say yes, and they say no to the lanyard putting it online, this whole theory is effed. So, side note, the guy, I actually asked the guy if I could have his lanyard, he said no. But he did say that I could have it after the event. So, my point was still proven, that going up to somebody cold and just asking for that request, they would say no. So, just so you know the backstory of how important it is for us to win. Luke! It's time. All right, so you guys are, uh, what's your name, by the way? Greg, Greg Jonathan. Nice Jonathan, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Get it, do, I get a, uh, do I get a first talk? Yeah, yeah, just if you want like, to. Do I get it like a Do you want just a practice? Yeah, a do a practice. practice. Yeah. First to 21, yeah. Make it simple. Yeah. One for you guys, one zero. Wait, how? They subtract, and then you add every round. Oh, these? Because ours fell, ours fell off. Oh, oh, I didn't see that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry about that. You're good. Oh. I gotta knock the pink one off, our pink one, and then we win. If I knock off our pink one, we win. <laughs> All right. But I gotta knock this one off as well. Thank you. Dude, nice <laughs> job. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down. Know, it was running back. It was running back. Right. That was good. That was good. Uh, but our uh, lanyard yeah, deal. Yeah, absolutely. Just a lanyard, Dude, not the actual 100%. tag. That's the hell of a game. That was crazy. There you go. Thank there you. There we go. <laughs> John and I'll put it on the line again if you want. That was awesome. <laughs> that was a really good game. That was awesome. <laughs> so what happened was I won the lanyard because I admired the guy to the game, and then after he said yes, I asked him if we could play for the lanyard, and he lost. But then I asked him after, would you have given the lanyard for any reason? And he was like, yeah, I don't care. I'm like, all right, fine. So, <laughs> it worked out.